Hi friends, welcome to Prater API. I am Manim Mehta. In this our next tutorial, we are going to learn our next hacker rank implementation challenge, climbing the leadership board. Okay, so let's go to our hacker rank account and solve this challenge. So friends, this is the problem, climbing the leadership board, leader board. Okay. Alice is playing an arcade game and wants to climb to the top of the leadership board. Leader board. Can you help her track her? Track her ranking sheet. She beats each level. The game is using a dance ranking and leadership bo leader board works like this. The player with the highest score is ranked to be one on the leader board. The player who have equal score receives the same ranking on, on ranking number, and the next player receives the immediately following the number. For an example, if the score is 100, 90, 90 80, the rank would be one, two, two, and so 1990 is at the same number. When alias start playing, there are already n number of the uh, n, pe n people on the leader board. The score of each player I denote by s of i. Alias plays m level and we denote her a total her score after the passing of each level of j alias i. And after completing each level, alias wants to know the current rank. You are given an uh, array of the score of the Monotonously decreasing leadership board, leader board, leader, leader board score, and another array alias cumulative scores of each level of the game. You must print an M integer. The Jth integer should be indicate the current rank of the alias after passing the Jth level. So, what should be the input? Input should be the first line should be contain an integer M and denoting the number of the players is already on the leadership board. Okay, the next line is n space of integer of the score to score by score 0, score 1 and score of the n minus 1 of the who have already played that respective value they are given. The next what they, they are uh, giving is they are giving an m with the alias bits. The last line contains m space of integer describing the respective value alias 0, alias 1 to alias n minus 1. So, so let's understand the uh, as an example. What it says 7, 100, 100, 50, 40, 40, 20, and 10. And this is the alias playing the game. Alias playing the game 5, 25, 50, and 120. So, uh, how it should be uh, the output? So, they have already played. Suppose that they, uh, me, David, Kalon. So, they are playing the game 100, 100, 50, 40, 40, 20, 10. So, this is the 1 to 5 ranking. Even though because of the duplicate number, they are giving the same ranking. Okay. Now, after finishing the game, so what is the first score which is the 5 ok so what where 5 should be comes 5 should be at the last and what it should be the rank it should be a rank is the 6 now what should be uh, the next game her ranking is the 4 so 4 ok so it is a 25 so what should be the rank the rank should be the 25 ok so 4 is the rank now uh, next score is 50 so 50 should be at rank Two, okay. So uh, Caroline and Elise is the at the same number, and the next is one twenty. So it should be a number one, and all other person will go down. Okay. So let's solve the challenge. What they have done till here? They have done till here that they have taken one solution class and the one public static void min method, and they have taken m integers and m integers, uh, n integers taking the scores. And M integers are taking the alias scores. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so basically, what we need to do, we need to perform a one algorithm, as which is that we will here follow going to follow a binary search algorithm. Okay, so for let's start writing a code. Uh, before we start writing a code, we are going to uh, uh, use that collection dot binary search method. So let me explain that method. So friends. For the shorting method, and we are we want to identify the rank, we are going to use a binary search method. So, what binary search method do? That they have one class, the Java dot utilload collection, and the, 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 they are using for the user to search the specified list and the specified object using the binary search algorithm. Uh, binary search algorithm they have two methods uh, with the different parameters. Uh, binary search uh, what we need to call dot pep collections dot binary search we need to pass a list and the key which we want to put 
in that leader board or in the list where it should be okay and the other way we can also pass a comparator okay what is the parameter that basic parameter is the list and the key the list is what the list need to be searched and the key which we are the for the searching for returns value what it returns it calls the returns of the index of the search key if it contains in the list and not what is the not while using a binary search collection dot a binary search we must do that that the whatever that we are passing the list it should be a shorted and list should not be a duplicate okay so this is an example i have taken what i have done here i have taken one list where we have i have added the numbers 10 20 30 and 40 now i am calling the binary search collection dot binary search which is the 25 so 25 should be if we are understanding the list so it is with 0 1 and 25 should be at the position is a 3 so what it is returning it is returning a minus 3 okay here we have print and here it is a output now collections dot the search we are passing the 50 50 should be at the last so 0 1 2 3 okay uh, at, at the last so what they are what it is returning it is a Five, one, two, three, four. So size is a four, and it is returning the size plus one. Okay, so it is returning a minus five. Okay, collection dot binary search. Now we are passing a five. So five should be at the position one. Okay, so what it is returning? It is returning a minus one. Now collection dot the binary search is thirty. So thirty is where zero, one, two. So what it is returning? It is returning a two. Here I have printed the Okay. So this is the how binary search method we are going to use. It is very simple. So now uh, let's let's write the code. Okay, and understand the thing. So here, what we need to do first, we need to uh, short shorted set or shorted set. Okay. So uh, for avoiding a duplication, what we are going to use, we are going to use a set. Integer. Okay. 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 We need a square. Okay. So we need a set. Now, what we need to do, we need to add a code set. We can add value. We need to add a value. This set. How we will add it? Code set. Code set. Okay. Why we are using a set? For the avoiding a duplication, we are using a set. Okay. Now, what they have taken all these codes. All these codes have been added into the score. Now, they are taking the values of alias. Okay. And now what we will going to do? We are going to. They have taken alias value as that. Now we need to. We are we are only able to pass the collection dot binary search for identifying the rank. We can only pass the list. Okay. So what we need to do? We need to convert into the list. Okay. So we need to a sorted list. This is called to new. array list so what we are going to do we are going to convert a set into this array okay so how we can convert that we can convert into five simple method that we can also write the initializing element now we need to a uh, collections uh, we need to a uh, short okay uh, because binary search only needs a uh, Shorted value collection dot short equal to shorted list comma okay uh, we 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 are going to from the highest number to the lowest number so we need to do a uh, uh, reverse order okay so we are going to It is not a showing of uh, all the suggestions. Uh, it might be internet of issue, or uh, I, I don't understand. Okay. 
now we need to find the index okay so we are just initializing the index okay now we need to find each and every number which are i is equal to 0 i less than n okay we need a rank of the alias so we are using the same n and i plus plus now now what we need to do i and b we need to assign what we need to do collection dot binary search binary search is equal to sorted sorted list okay we need to pass a sorted list after that we need to pass a key okay so we need to pass a key of alias the number at the 0 or 2 3 2 and we need everything into the reverse order so what we need to do is collection dot Okay. okay now now uh, how uh, it was returning the value it was returning the value uh, all out into the minus so minus returning all the values into the correct one okay so index of less than zero what we need to do is that we need to just remove the all into the negative values into we need to convert into the positive values we need to find the absolute values okay else else what we need to do is we need to it is counting from the zero if it is in the positive value it is counting from the zero so we need to do index plus plus and what we are going to do is system dot out dot so let's let's suppose the code. Okay, so it's a processing so uh, solution does and check a request compile with uh, details. I think we have passed the test cases. I don't know what is the compilation method, but. Uh, Okay, let, let me submit the code. Let's check uh, we have passed all the test cases or not. It's we have passed the method for test cases. Okay, so congratulations guys, you have passed all the test cases. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, do visit brighterapi.com. Please do like and subscribe the our YouTube channel, youtube.com brighterapi slash brighterapi. You can uh, you can search into the YouTube. Okay, and please also you can clone our uh, hacker and directory in the GitHub as well. Okay, please do visit. And uh, if you want to uh, write any blog into the or any solution you want to provide anything you can also uh, do comment uh, in the our youtube channel or you can also reach us to the support at the red writer api .com. okay so do keep in touch thank you very much guys thank you for watching my video